practice. Luck, mm-hmm. uh, we'll, we have some sayings about that, you know, better lucky than good, um, because you can be the best pilot in the world if you run into luck. Um, you know, what is, I think one of the sayings like, luck, airspeed, and altitude, uh, you know, two of the three are always required to uh, successfully end a flight, something like that. So, yeah, we'll, we'll say that a lot. I mean, like I said, you can have be the luckiest guy in the world and be a terrible pilot and do okay. You know, you can be yeah. uh, terrible, uh, the best pilot in the world and run out of luck and too bad things happen. So, I mean, it's certainly not to demean anybody saying how hard they work or capability, but yeah. luck almost always like, plays a factor in things. Um, for one, the nail, the kingdom was lost, as the fable goes. So um, I never discount luck um, and superstition. Everybody has it. Some guys have like the skull caps they wear under their helmet for sweat. I know one guy, um, he's a three-star now, and he, wow. I think the whole time we were at weapon school, when he was there as an instructor, he's a little bit older than me, I think he wore the same skull cap, never washed it once, stunk to high heaven. Oh, but really? But he was suspicious. He was suspicious if he ever washed that thing. Then something bad would happen. I have my was my helmet bag. I still have the helmet bag in my little airplane I fly today. Since wow. I was a lieutenant, it's got my name on it, my call sign, and my, my wings on the side. I refuse. It's got little holes in the bottom. And I refuse to get rid of it. It's like it's become my crutch. Wherever I go, that helmet bag has to it fly has to be with me, right? Because that was there for every mission I ever flew in the F fifteen, F twenty two, every single one. That's um, so it's, it's funny how luck and other things kind of planned your. Mind. It probably doesn't really mean. Anything. But it sticks to people's heads. You're like, you get and how you do things, and so you you kind of get stuck on that. And it's like, if it interrupts that, it just throws people off. You're like, where's my where's my helmet bag? I gotta have it, right? So yeah. Weird. But you find pilots have some sense of that when they fly, and they all understand that luck and timing uh, plays a really critical part in a really good career. Definitely. So how did the the, F, uh, the tornadoes uh, of the RAF fare against the F-15s when you were over there? Probably not very well. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, different aircraft. I mean, more of an interceptor or a ground strike, you know, depending on the type of design for the aircraft. I mean, one thing you can't match it down low fast, it's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't built to be a dogfighter, and, and uh, DACT, it wasn't the best platform for that, um, you know, because you can never, I'm very cautious about downing on another pilot uh, at all, because if that pilot was in a, you know, a Eurofighter, as, you know, Typhoon as opposed to an Eagle, well, now we're, or, you know, a typhoon. Now it's a whole different story. Mm-hmm. So, aircraft type is obviously a big part of it. But usually we did really, really well. But I mean, that's what the F-15 was built for. And if you ever hit the merge, obviously you'd, you'd, the fight was pretty much over because you know the Eagles could turn really well compared to a tornado. That's not really what they were designed for. No, no uh, so the Brits knew that too, and they'd, they'd fly out to their advantages. You know, they would try to stay low and fast. They wouldn't try to get to a merge and turn. I mean, they know that's not the smart thing to do. So, but you know, it was fun sometimes. If you ever hit a merge and you see the wings are way out on the tornado, you're like, okay, it's over. Gotcha. You know, same <laughs> thing with the Tom. The wings are out. Like, okay, it's over. Yeah. He's not going to be able to do much. You know, they keep the wings back and they go fast. That's their. That's where they're really good. So, um, and tactics and weapons and other things too. It was always fun. I mean, you still die. Somebody still, you know, do something stupid. It's still going to get you. You know, now and then. But um, they they knew. You know, it's like anything. You know, if you're flying an F-86 against an F-15, your F-86 is at a pretty big disadvantage. I mean, yeah. This is what it is. Now I'm somebody in an F-15, and all of a sudden I'm matched against an F-22. I'm like, oh man, I'm in trouble <laughs> now, right? You're, so a lot of it has to do with the the aircraft you're flying against not really the pilots Mm -hmm. almost always yeah